Hey y'all, DBR back for another video. And um, this one is gonna be a get to know me video. And hello again, for the people that are returning and for the new people, um, welcome. You guys, everybody's welcome here. Um, what we do around here is we hit that like button and we hit that subscribe button because we we black people, we people, period. We, we like for things and um, it don't cost you nothing to subscribe. So you, you just go ahead and click, I'll give you a minute. Okay, minutes over. You should have clicked it by now. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna do a little um a, a little bit of a get um get to know me kind of video because I feel like there's a lot of people on my channel that really don't know me and um a lot of interesting questions I get and so I'm just gonna do a, a brief one. It's not gonna be anything major, but I do want to address this so at least I can you know. I, I just because I think it's gonna be fun. So, anyways, um, and I have to answer these questions as honestly as possible. So this should be interesting. So, question number one: What's your full name? My full name is Dennis Brian Robertson. That's my full name. Um, it was switched at um, when I was adopted. It was switched, and for those of you who don't know, I'm adopted. I have videos on that on my channel, which will be linked below. But um, yeah, they, they changed it to Dennis Christian Gianti. So yes, that's, that's my full name. Anyways, um, what does your name mean? I'm not sure, but I hate my name. My first name, that is. You can call me anything else but my first name. Please don't call me by my first name. I hate it. Um, hmm. Are you named after anyone? No, I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. Um, does your name make any interesting anonograms? No, I, hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look after this video. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> um, if you had to change your, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Uh, my middle name, Christian, for sure. Um, cause I like it better than my first name. So that's why all my friends and family call me Christian because I would prefer that over my first name. Um, where are you from? I'm gonna skip over that question. Because I feel like my nationality is, I, I don't really like to brighten. It's not anybody's business. Um, although you are trying to get to know me, but that part we can skip. Um, where were you born? I was born in o Oakland Park, Florida. Um, where did you grow up? I grew up in North Lauderdale. North Lauderdale, um, is a smaller city within Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, who did you look up to growing up? Well, I'm still growing up and I'm still looking up to these people. So as you can see behind me, the picture of the greatest, Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre, and Carrie Underwood, if I had to choose who I, you know, look up to, especially Reba McIntyre. She's, I've had some issues over the years. And if you're really, if it wasn't for Reba McIntyre and me discovering her early on, I, I think I would have made a permanent solution for a temporary problem. So we can just leave it at that. You guys can fill in the blank, I guess. Um, what are your best characteristics? Well, I'm smart and I'm funny and I'm char and I'm charismatic and um, I'm eloquent. I have quite a few. Um, I'm just extremely intelligent. Um, I'm a cancer, so I'm extremely intuitive. And that's just really the list of you. That's just a few of them. But yeah, I think very highly of myself. So there's, there's a lot more. Um, what are your favorite things about yourself? Well, some of the things I just named and... Um, I don't know. I, I can get people to see what they don't see in themselves, I think is the biggest thing that I'm proud of, if I had to choose. Like, I think that really is a thing for me. I can really get you to feel, you know, the way you should feel. Loved and cared for and, you know, appreciated. And I get people to understand me. I get people to see that other people see the good in you. You're not the only one. You're not alone, kind of. I'm, I'm very good at that. Making people feel in, 
included or togetherness. Like I, I'm, I'm just good at bringing people together and, and I'm good at bringing out the best in others. Um, which of your parents are you closest to? Next, which of your parents are you more like? My mom. Um, are your grandparents still married? I don't have grandparents. Never had grandparents. Don't know what it feels like to have grandparents. My grandmother is dead. She died in 2013. So, and I never got to meet her. And my grandfather was dead before her. Long time before her. So, I don't have grandparents. Never had. Um, what, what relative was important to you growing up and why? Oh, that one's easy. Um, relative, like, what, relative meaning, like, from the immediate family or from, like, I, I don't, okay, I'm just gonna give you both because I, because that could go either way. Um, from my immediate family, my sister Ashley. I love that girl with every fiber of my being. And she was kind of like my scapegoat for all those years, like, of us when we when she used to live here i like we used to like she just brought out the best in me and you know like she was annoying yeah cuz i i'd be like taking a shower and she'd come in there all quietly and so i didn't hear her and she would reach her hand in behind the shower curtain and she would grab my booty and she would run she'd be like rubber ducky and she would just run and i would get scared but then afterwards when i realized it was her i would just bust out laughing and yeah, you know, so she, we, we, we had some, you know, really good times. And I, she was my escape for a lot of it. And seeing my older sibling also go through some of the same things that I went through, but we were able to be each other's rock, that was what was really important to me. And if I had to claim anybody that's, like, the closest to me and closest to my heart, it would be her. Um, I, I don't feel for anyone else in this family the way I do for Ashley. So she's my rock she's what got me through all these years another one of the reasons why i had something to live for even way back when um and um for the other side of that for somebody that's outside of the family i think would be aunt gail my aunt gail is everything to me because she i, I like the way that she's able to sit back and she's able to listen and kind of understand and even if she has no opinion on the matter she still you know, let you vent and, you know, kind of get it out and be a listening ear for me when my, when I was in times of need. And, um, she could sort of kind of see both sides of things, which was really nice. And she's, her and her family actually are the only people that have never made us feel like the black sheeps because it's like two adopted like seven adopted kids and two white parents and so our family members are white but everyone else kind of made us feel some type of way and she never made us feel any like we never felt ostracized or the odd man out we never felt like the black sheep of the family quite literally um because her she was just so kind and so gracious and you know she still is to this day she's like the best thing about our family and um she's she's the glue in some cases that keeps us going to family functions we go because she's gonna be there not because we care to see anybody else it's because of Van Gale she's like everything so yeah um what is one thing that you never um revealed to your parents they pretty much know everything I don't I don't tend to hide things. I don't care what they think. So I can tell them, but I don't give a damn what they think. So I, I think that's the difference is I don't feel the need to not tell them anything because I could care less about what you think. And if I don't tell you something, it's because I think it's obvious already. So I don't feel the need to, to let it be known. I don't know. Anyways. Um, what would your what would your parents have made it happen again? camera just keeps dying on me um that's the second time that it's happened this week so sorry um I was on the question um what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite sex I don't know and I don't really care um 
what do you what do you call your grandparents once again don't have those so never have it just i don't know what it feels like to have those um what is your best physical feature Isn't it obvious? My face. I think my face. I think I would... Yeah, my face. That's the money maker. I'm sorry. That's, that's, it. that's it. It's what gets me on my gigs. It's my face. Hands down. Um, what is your biggest accomplishment? Graduating college. Yeah. Um, what is your biggest fear? Death. Hands down. Death is my biggest fear. Which seems kind of funny coming from someone who was super suicidal. But at those times, you don't really think. You just do. And, um, yeah. Anyways. What is your biggest regret? I don't have regrets at all. I feel like everything happens for a reason. So why would I regret something? Like, I don't have any regrets. Uh -uh. What is your eye color? Brown. I know it might look black, but my eyes are brown, guys. My eyes are brown. You see it? My eyes are brown. A very, very pretty color brown, too. Um, What inspires you? like thing that inspires me or people or person because Reba McIntyre inspires me Carrie Underwood inspires me Dolly Parton is an inspiration um but what inspires me I don't know if it's something in my field like if I see a hairstyle or something like that those kind of things inspire me or if I see um you know, people living their best lives in big old mansions and with driving the best cars, that kind of stuff inspires me because it's like, it, it lights a fire under me and I, I say, you know what, I'm gonna have that one day. And then lo and behold, I had that, you know? So it works. You know, when you see other people have it, you want to have that same thing, so you go get it for yourself. So that's what I did. So I don't really have inspirations today, I guess, other than the people that I that inspire me. Um, what is the most important thing in your life? Object? I don't think I have one. Person? Person that I, I couldn't... When I think about the most important thing in this world and... It, what it, what would kill me to lose the thing I couldn't live without is my best friend she means the world to me and she's been there through it all and so she's not a thing but she's a person And I don't know what I'd do without her. She's another reason I wake up every day. And I tell myself that it's going to be all right. She makes it all right. So. Who's my favorite person? Who's my favorite person? Tajay Reed. So, in my life, that's, you know. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? What I'm sitting here right now and doing, you know, full hair and makeup, you know, this right here. 
here for however many weeks I've been doing this. You know, going out in public this way. I'm doing it for the brand. I'm doing it for the brand. Yeah. Doing all of this. Because I thought I would never be able to do this. Turns out it's easier than it looks. Who's your favorite actor? Huh. Hmm. Huh. I think it would be a tie between Steve Carell and Robin Williams. Who's my favorite actress? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I want to say Reba McIntyre because she's my answer to everything. But I think the answer to that one it would have to go to Carrie Washington. I mean, there's so many people in that category. It's crazy. Sandra Bullock, Tina Fey, um, Melissa McCarthy, all of them are great honorable mentions, but I think the role would have to go to, to, to Carrie, uh, Carrie uh, Washington because she, she plays my spirit animal, my, um, what do they call them? Like, she's my ego. Like, she's, she plays me on a different level. Like, Miss Olivia Pope, she's, she's you know, that's me. I'm definitely the male version of Olivia Pope, so it would have to go to Carrie Washington because she made that character come to life the way nobody else could have. Who's your favorite celebrity? Reba McIntyre, hands down. Who's your favorite musician? Reba McIntyre. Who's your favorite person in the world? Who's my favorite person in the entire world? It'd be a tie between my best friend and Reba McIntyre. So, yeah. Um, what is your favorite childhood memory? Hmm. I don't really have a specific one. It's just any memory that Ashley was in. My favorite sister, I think. Because I didn't really have much of a childhood, so... That's a strange question for me, but anything that she was in is what I like. Um, what's my favorite color? Red. Um, what's your favorite cultural activity? I don't, I don't know what that means because I, I don't really do the whole culture thing. Anyways, um, what's your favorite drink? Sprite. If you get me a Sprite, I'm your best friend. Um, what's your favorite fairy tale? I don't have one. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food would have to be... <sighs> Damn. It's kind of like a tie. between. No, no, it's not. It's not a tie. Macaroni and cheese. Um, what's your favorite holiday destination? I hate the holidays, and I hate destinations, so... Next. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, marshmallow. Um, what's your favorite music genre? Country music. What's your favorite physical activity? I don't do that anymore. So I don't have one at this time. Um, what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote, I have a few of those. Um, we can't control the wind, but we can adjust our sails. Um, everyone's replaceable. Um, people don't just wake up amazing. It takes me hours to get this way. Um, the higher the hair, the closer to God. Or the bigger the hair, the harder they stare. Um, 
I have a few. So I, I, I don't know which would be my favorite. I have a lot that mean the world to me. Um, but I think my f the one that is hits the hardest for me would be um, um, hmm. um, Stand Out, Be Kind, and Work Your Butt Off by Reba McIntyre. I think that um, would, would top the most I don't know um what's your favorite snack Twizzlers Twizzlers what's your favorite song Consider Me Gone by Reba McIntyre what's your favorite sport um football yeah surprisingly football even though I never played it I played soccer, I played basketball, I, played, I did track, I did all that. Never played football. So, yeah. To watch? Yeah, football. To do? Baseball. Um, what is your favorite time of day? Nighttime, because I'm nocturnal. That's when I come to life. Um, what is your favorite type of clothing? I don't know what the fuck. What kind of fucking question is that? Um, yeah, so I'm skipping over that. What is your favorite way to pass time? Listen to music, dance, and sing. Um, what is the name of your favorite restaurant? Cheddar's. Um, what is your all-time favorite town or city and why? L.A., because it's where stars are born. Um... What is your favorite candles? What the fuck? Um, what is your favorite social media channel? YouTube. Um, where's your favorite place to take to take a guest uh, to take out of town? Wait, what? Where's your favorite place to take an out of town guest? Oh, favorite place to take an out of town guest. I don't get those, so I don't know. Um, what is your favorite subject in, or what was your favorite subject in high school? English. Um, what was your least favorite subject? Math. Um, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Reba. Um, what, what do you love about your favorite TV show? That Reba McIntyre's in it. And it's about her. And it's named after her. Um... Are you scared of heights? No. Are you high maintenance? Sometimes. Um, are you more inclined to build your own empire or unleash potentials of of others? Build my own empire. Kind of like what I've already done. Kind of like what I'm doing now. Yeah, that. Um, are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it in it head on? Kind of a little bit of both. It depends. Because I'm not no pussy. I'll beat the fuck out of you in a heartbeat. So, I don't know. Um, are you a dog person or a cat person? Dog person. Are you a fan of any sports teams? Yeah, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, are you a good cook? Great cook. Um, are you an early adapter or a late adapter? Early. If you had more courage, what would you be doing differently in your life now? That one's too deep. I'm not going to answer that because y'all ain't ready for the answer to that question. So that one's too deep. So I'm going to skip that one. Um, what is good about how you are living your life right... What is good about how you are living your life right now? None of it. Um, if you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? To be able to say what I'm really feeling... I can do that because I'm like a no-nonsense person, but to say what I'm really feeling in like a romantic way towards somebody, I'm never able to do that. I'm able to text it, but I'm never able to really say it. And that has hurt me in the long run. Um, who has the most impact on your life? Reba McIntyre. Um, what aspects of your life needs tremendous improvement? My attitude. Um, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in your life? 
don't know. Um, who's the best teacher you've ever had? Pamela, Sylvia, Stigger, or Hankerson? If she changed her name back. No. Um, who is the biggest pack rack you know? My brother. Um, who is the first person you call when you are excited something happens? My best friend, duh. Um, who is the first person you call when something horrible happens? My best friend, duh. Um, who is the worst boss you've ever had? Uh, skipping. Um, can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Yes. Can you do a split? Yes. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? No. Ew, that's weird. Um, can you whistle? Yes. Can you dance? Yes. Um, do you remember your dreams? Sometimes. When they're about people? Yes. When they're about certain things? Probably not. But definitely when they're about people. Like, I, I yeah, I do remember when, when it has something to do with someone else. I remember, like, right off rip. Um... Do you save old greeting cards and letters or do you throw them away? I save everything. Like everything that has value of some kind, I save. So if you sent me a card, I still got it. Still got it. It's somewhere safe. Um, do you sing in the shower? Of course. Um, do you sleep with the lights on or off? Sometimes if I'm in my phone too long, I sleep with them on. But, um, Usually they're off. Do you take any pills or medication daily? No, no pills and, and no medication. Do you prefer kissing or cuddling? Kissing. Um, do you prefer for people to be straight with you or temper their words? I would rather hear it from me straight. I don't like to, to, to drag things on and on. Um, wow. Yeah, so I think that's where we're going to end it because there's so many um, questions on this list. So I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys want a part two, get this video up in views and up in likes. And um, y'all need to subscribe and y'all will get a part two because these are actually really fun to answer. And there's like more than 100 here, so I'm not going to answer all of them. But stay perfectly imperfect until I see you guys next time. All right, all right, bye.